Okay, this is a Dell Inspiron 1525. And we're having an issue with this. When we turned it on, time of day clock stopped. Okay, what does that mean? All right, so this means, as we addressed this in an earlier video, uh, as we said in an earlier video, this means that the CMOS, this system CMOS, is bad. So we have to switch out the CMOS. We bought this, five dollars. You can get this for like five bucks off of Amazon. Or, I think you might even be able to get it from uh, uh, hardware stores or from Walmart or something like that. But for sure, you can get it off Amazon. And this is a CR2032. And we're going to put replace the battery from this system. Okay, next step, make sure all the power is off. And what I did was I removed the, the battery out of there to make absolutely certain we don't have any power going through. We're going to remove eight screws that are along here. Those are the eight screws. And then right underneath here is where the CMOS is going to be located. So that's right near the, the um, SD card port. So it's going to be right there. All right, let's get to it. Okay, I just removed this panel here. All right, so what I did was, um, I've got to get underneath this panel here, underneath the, near the Wi-Fi card. And in order to do that, I think the best way to do it is to remove all the screws, all of the screws that are here near this area. So there's like about four, one, two, three, four, five, six screws here. That includes the hard drive. This is the hard drive here. See that? It's the hard drive. I just it's hold held down by two screws there. Once all of those are out, I can now put my hand underneath here so I can actually get I can actually get right underneath there. And I can see there's the battery right there. See it? That's it. Now I just need to reach in there, grab it out. Alright, so I managed to get it out. Um, with somebody's help uh, <laughs> It's kind of tricky uh, and it's really difficult to do without breaking this thing I just used a paper clip and popped it out when somebody helped me to uh, get a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of uh, room in there to get my hands in there and uh, Let's finish this up. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this new CR2032 battery inside so we're gonna slip it in there it's really kind of tricky hopefully we didn't break it there we go it's in there so we had to open this up pretty wide and when we did that this panel came off see that but it's not to worry we can just slip this back in there we just got to make sure we put it in the right way I think there's like a little there's like a little slit in there and I just got to make sure. Come on, over top. See, now it's, uh, there's the ports right there. Make sure that the, you can access to see the SD card. And we're going to close it back up. There you go. It's back, in, it's back in place. Once we put the screws in there, it won't come out. Plate's back in there. Now we're going to put the screws in. Before we put all the screws in, we're going to test it out just to make sure that uh, it fixed our problem. I'm going to put the back panel back on so it doesn't cause any problems. Okay, cut. Okay, uh, before I put all the rest of the screws in, just in case I have to fix something else or maybe the battery is not in there all the way, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, try to turn this on. Got our power in, got our battery in. Go ahead and turn it on, see if, make sure we don't have the same time issue. RTC mode fixed, time and date may be wrong. Alright, we got that initial error, so I just went ahead and rebooted the system to see if, um, see if it'll fix itself. I imagine it's because the time date has been off for um, CMOS, and so it's doing some sort of a 
um, reset. Invalid configuration information. Please set up the program date time. Please set up run program. Okay, it looks like we've got to do some more stuff with this. And um, it says time of day not set. Please run setup program. Strike the F1 key to continue. F2 to run the setup utility. F5 for onboard diagnostics. So let's go ahead and hit. F1. That's a good sign. Look at that. There's Windows 7. We're going to go ahead and go with Windows 7. Starting Windows. And looks like it's working. So that's it. So what we did was we had the, uh, the time issue that was related to this little thing right here sometimes called the watch battery um, I, I was always taught that it was called the CMOS battery um, but once that's fixed and this is only four dollars the, the tricky part is actually getting in there and replacing it but uh, once you once you fix that pretty much um, it, it works uh, you'll get that first the first uh, screen telling you that the, the date, date time might be wrong, what I did was I just rebooted it. And then once uh, once I rebooted it, it said uh, hit F1. And then F1 took me to the to the Windows 7 boot up screen. So that's it. It looks like we have some, some malware we need to fix on this computer. This is not my computer, by the way. <laughs> All right. See you later.